They used to be called hunchbacks. Across the world, millions of children are born each year with severe spinal deformities. They are ostracized, ridiculed, and face painful early deaths. But for some, there is hope. 15-year-old Juma Jenda is from war-torn Sierra Leone in West Africa. But fixing a crooked spine means working within millimeters of the spinal cord and risks total paralysis, even death. Only a handful of surgeons have the skill and courage to even attempt such a brutal operation. This man is the master of it. Dr. Ohenaba Boachi was born in Ghana. As a young boy, he almost died of malnutrition, but was saved by a Western-trained doctor. He took care of me, and that never left me. So I always wanted to be like him, someone who can heal someone and provide them with health and, and uh, strength and give them a new lease on life. Dr. Boachi now lives in New York and saves hundreds of children each year from lives of terrible suffering and death. He made the human spine his life's work and has revolutionized spinal surgery. In 1998, he created the foundation for orthopedic and complex spine. Focus draws more than a dozen US and European doctors to Africa all working without pay. I had the opportunity to go back and render services to those who needed help. Twice a year, a focus team spends two weeks in Ghana carrying out nearly 30 life-saving surgeries. Their patients are children from all over Africa. Juma Jenda is 15 years old. If his spine were straight, he would stand at least six inches taller. It is uncomfortable because many things that I discover that I can do, there is no way. The extreme curvature of Juma's spine is crushing his heart and lungs and will soon kill him. Already, he can't do many of the things that boys love to do. The focus team treats some of the worst spinal deformities in the world. Many cases of scoliosis result from childhood infections like tuberculosis or polio that actually penetrate the spinal vertebrae and cause them to swell and sometimes fuse together. Left untreated, the spine can become hugely deformed as a child grows. So I'm going to take this off so I can look at you in the front and also in the back. Is that all right? Good. Oh my goodness. Juma has one of the very severe forms of scoliosis, which is a curvature of the spine in three planes, a side-to-side -side curvature with rotation and twisting of the trunk, and also a back-to-front bending, which is the kyphosis component. The first bend in Juma's spine is a left-to-right scoliosis curve of 140 degrees that begins in the lumbar region. Further up is a 130-degree front-to-back kyphosis curve which is crushing Juma's heart and lungs, making it difficult for him to breathe. The condition that he has will shorten his life. He's already breathing at 30% capacity, and he's losing weight because he can't breathe while he's not functioning. If you leave him alone, he's not gonna live too long. I'm gonna stretch you. How does that feel? Extreme. Feels better? Yeah. You can breathe better now, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what the surgery will do. They will try to stretch you up like that. In the U.S., Dr. Boachi would correct Juma's spine over the course of several surgeries, but he only has one chance to make Juma's life better. The medical care for focus patients is paid for by charities. There's usually only enough money to bring children once, and most families can't afford to make the journey with them. Juma rarely even sees his mother he must face this life-threatening surgery alone. How do you think they are going to do the surgery? <laughs> I know. I've seen examples, but I don't know. What I know is, they're gonna make me a little bit straight. Are you happy for the surgery? Yes, I'm happy. And that's the main purpose that I am here for. Everything left with them and God. God can do it. Possible. 
I know God can do it possible. On the morning of Juma Jenda's surgery, the focus team meets at breakfast to discuss his upcoming procedure. Uh, Juma is going to be case number 27. Very few surgeons would even attempt to correct a spine as deformed as Juma's. Dr. Boachi is not just any surgeon. In the operating room, Dr. Boachi has just an absolute uh, mastery of the spine. We're all schooled in the sciences that allow us to be physicians and allow us to do the things that we do, but a lot of what's done in the operating room is in fact an art, and he is a true artist of the spine. We've covered our bases for him. You ready to roll? Wonderful. Let's go get him. At Corlebu Hospital, the medical staff sometimes has to do without even the most basic amenities. Today, the surgeons are scrubbing in without running water. This is just oxygen, okay? So you just breathe in and out normal. I'll tell you before we put you to sleep. Dr. Boachi will have to use so much force to straighten Juma's twisted torso, he risks actually snapping his spine. The chance of paralysis is extreme. Well, there's at least one, let's say we've got one in 500 for the regular scoliosis. He's a severe scoliosis. So his chances of paralysis uh, will be high. Okay, but um, that's where we're going to monitor his spinal cord. Dr. Boachi yeah, will expose the spine from just below the neck down to the lumbar region. He'll then insert screws into the vertebrae in the upper and lower spine. Steel rods attach to these anchor points, and then, as he forces the spine straight, he'll connect the rods in the middle. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna expose the spine from T3 to uh, L4, that's what it says on the plan, is that correct? Okay. Too little correction, and Juma's lungs won't get the relief they need. We've exposed the bottom section. Too much, and his vertebrae may shatter. And then after we've done the top and bottom, we go to the middle portion where the spine is most crooked. Bone cutter. A small bone spur juts out from each vertebra. They are an added layer of protection for the spinal cord. But in Juma's case, the spurs are stopping his spine from moving back to a more normal shape. So Dr. Boachi cuts them off. These chips of bone are saved for later. Sprinkled back onto the spine, they will trigger new bone growth that will strengthen Juma's vertebrae. Bone wax. Dr. Boachi is hammering millimeters away from the spinal cord. Even the slightest misstep could result in complete paralysis. Each vertebra is a protective cage for the spinal cord. To anchor the straightening rods to Juma's spine, Dr. Boachi has to come dangerously close to breaking that cage open inserting a screw within millimeters of the spinal nerves. There are now 14 screws in Juma's crooked spine. The next step, fixing steel rods to them to pull his spine straight, will be the culmination of hours of labor. It is also the most dangerous phase. Give me that kind of action. It will take four doctors to wrench these rods into their final position, but they won't be able to push Juma's spine all the way straight. Juma's bones are weak, and applying too much force might actually rip the screws out of the vertebrae. And straightening the spine this much in one session could actually stretch the spinal cord. Dr. Boachi must be extremely careful Stretching it by even a millimeter could cause irreversible damage. So we're, we're in spine frenzy right now. This is why we wish we were never here. <laughs> I have a uh, minimal potential from the feet again. If the nerve potentials drop to zero, Juma will not walk yeah, again. Yeah, the, the correction is too much, so Dr. Boachi backs off a few degrees. The signals from Juma's spinal cord stabilize. But it looks like uh, we got him balanced. Dr. Boachi decides to lock it into position. Okay, we're gonna take it. What do you guys think? Looks good. Bone? The final step is to sprinkle the chips of bone they removed earlier over the steel rods and screws. The body senses these little pieces as broken bones and tries to heal them. But the new bone growth acts like biological concrete 
locking the metal firmly into place. Steel and bone fused together will anchor Juma's new spine. It's been a difficult surgery. The medical team knows Juma will wake up straighter. They hope he will be able to walk. The surgery went well, considering the, the difficulties that we had, being that he was very small, very weak bone, very rotated. This has been very intense two weeks, uh, so I'm ready to go back home and, and get some rest, maybe for 24 hours and get right back to work. It has been three months since Juma's massive spinal surgery. Ahmed has brought Juma's mother to see him for the first time since his surgery. That's nice. How is everything? Yeah, everything is fine. Okay, that's good. Let me have a look at your back. Wow, this is so nice. You've got your, your human shape. How do they do this? Well, this is the, the work of Dr. Boachi and the team from America. Okay. Oh, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. I'm happy to see Juma. There was joy in my heart. Although I felt like crying, but his posture made me happy. I was so happy. Right now, I feel happy. I think that uh, people will just look at me and admire at me and not to provoke me. That makes me so feel normal in public. Dr. Bachi, he's a good doctor. I've really uh, been able to reach my lifelong goal to make people stand straight, feel good about themselves and look better and breathe better and, and lead a normal life. <laughs>